kept the original seats, the original paint, the interior. You've even got the big little mattress for the kids at the back. So looking at this thing to begin with, you're like, oh yeah, it's got a little, maybe a six banger, and then you hear it, and you're like, oh, maybe it's got a little 253, and then you realize that you're so terribly wrong. <laughs> Stripped down to perhaps fire up, it was a 12 month build. I only knew because I started buying everything about two, three years prior to that. I went from a 186 standard with a power glide and a 383 LS side mount blower, big, big dirty ass turbo, to then it kind of just changed into what it is. And you went straight to OCD City. Yes. Yeah. <laughs>
completely original with the bench seats front and back, the steering wheel, the gauges, literally the only thing that gives anything away, you know, the little holly screen that you've got sitting there. But apart from that, there's nothing else showing that this car's got anything going on underneath it. Well, Carl, what about my little red button on the end of the gearshift? Oh, your little red button, I didn't even see that. Oh, yeah. Is it trans brake? Trans brake. Oh, you're sneaky. <laughs> That's all right. Didn't hit the wall. He saved it. He just saved it. It's the right color. I think this color really suits these cars. You've got the two-tone white top. Sunshade on the front, the loop is on the back window. <laughs> I love the long ball stick. <laughs> Obviously, just the patina, the original looking wheels and the caps. Like this thing just looks, it looks great. You've been cruising around like nothing ever happened, and you put your foot down and you scare the shit around in this seat. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for everything, man. Alright, bro. Catch you next time. See ya.